Hello guys, here is Yuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make super yummy, super delicious mutter paneer without tomatoes and any kind of cream. Mutter paneer is a traditional and popular Indian dish where mutter means green peas and paneer means Indian cottage cheese. And today I am going to show you the way to make it more delicious than the restaurant one. So guys, let's see the recipe. So here I have taken 250 grams of paneer and cut it into pieces. Keep the shapes and sizes according to your wish, there is no problem, no boundness. And on the other hand, I have taken 4 medium sized onions, finely sliced, 1 inch ginger, roughly chopped, and 15 to 16 cloves of garlic. And here I have taken about 1 fourth cup of uh, dry coconut that is soaked very nicely. I soaked them for about 1 hour, but you may take it directly or you may take the fresh coconut. And along with all of them, you may take some cashews as well. And here I have taken about 1 cup of uh, fresh curd. I beat the curd a little, you may see that. And now on the other hand, I have taken some frozen mutter that means green peas. But you may take the fresh one, there is no problem. If you are taking the fresh green peas, you need to boil them for a longer time. And I washed the frozen green peas very nicely as you can see it. And as a preparation, we need some hot water with some salt. So I have put the vessel on heater to heat the water and added some salt. I am going to use this hot water to soak my fried paneer to remain soft. So our hot water is ready. And here I have taken some ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. Actually it was in the fridge. So it is looking like butter but it is not butter, it is actually ghee. So guys let us go for the pan. I have taken a fry pan and added some ghee in the pan. After the ghee is melted nicely, we will add the paneer one by one. And now we have to fry the paneer until a light red color. We have to flip them occasionally like this and they are ready. I am taking them out into the hot water that we have prepared previously. And here are they. So guys, I am not going to throw this water away because it has so much ghee and salt. So I am going to use this for the gravy. So now let us keep it aside and go for the pan for making the spices. So I have taken the same fry pan and now I am adding all the spices. Those are uh, onion, ginger, coconut and garlic. And I am adding a little more water in it. And now we have to fry everything very nicely until a light brown color. And now we have to cool them down fully and after that make a smooth paste. So our smooth paste is ready as you can see. I used some water while making the paste. So now let us keep it aside and go for the main process. I am adding some ghee in the pan. When the ghee or oil is heated well, we need to add some cumin seeds. About 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds I am adding. 2 to 3 cloves, whole cloves. 2 pieces of cinnamon. 1 black cardamom. And 2 to 3 bay leaves. So now we have to fry everything very nicely and after that we have to add some water before adding the powder spices. So I am adding some water. For the spices, I am going to use mutter paneer masala, mutter paneer mix as you can see. But if you don't have it, you may use simply paneer masala or if you don't have the paneer masala, you may use simply garam masala, there is no problem. So I have added half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, one teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color and uh, according to taste red chili powder. And now I am taking 2 teaspoon full of mutter paneer masala. But if you are taking paneer masala, you have to take only 1 teaspoon. So it's done. Now we have to mix everything very nicely on medium to low heat and cook it for about uh, 2 to 3 minutes until the water is dried up nicely and the oil is released fully. And along with all of the spices, I am going to add some asafoetida also for a good digestion. So about one pinch of asafoetida I am adding. So guys you can see that the water is dried up nicely and uh, the oil is released fully. So now it's time to add the spices mixture that means the spices paste we have made previously. So I am adding it and I am going to add some water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage. After adding the spices paste we don't need to wait for a longer time. Just I am mixing a little and after that I am going to add the curd. So I am adding the curd. 
the heat is on low now. You may add salt along with this, but I am not adding salt now because I am going to add the salted water. So, I am going to add salt later. Now, I have mixed everything very nicely and now I am covering the pan on medium to low heat and uh, after some time, here is the texture. The lid is very dirty now and the oil is very nicely released and the water is dried up very nicely. So, now we are going to add water for gravy. I am adding this water, this salted water with ghee. one paneer is dropped no problem now we have to add more water as needed i am going to add water washing this lid to avoid wastage of spices keep the water quantity according to your choice as thick or as thin you want your gravy so i have added water according to my choice now we have to cover the pan for some time on high heat until the gravy starts to boil but before that i am going to add the mutter that means green peas in the gravy and after that I am going to cover the pan. So, after about 2 to 3 minutes on high heat the gravy starts to boil and now I have turned the heat on medium. After the gravy starts to boil we need to add the paneer cubes that fried paneers. So, I am adding them and now we need to check the salt of the gravy and we have to add more salt if needed. So, I am going to check it and I am adding some salt according to taste and now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala. Now we have to cook the curry for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium heat. You may cover the pan if you want but now I am not going to cover the pan. I am going to cook the curry like this without a lid because I want to reduce the gravy a little. Do not cook the curry for more than 15 minutes because overcooking will ruin the taste of the paneer. So, after about 10 minutes I am adding some fresh coriander leaves and 1 teaspoon full of roasted kasuri methi. Kasuri methi means sun dried fenugreek leaves. I roasted them a little and now I will add them crushing in my palms like this. You may see the process guys. So, after adding coriander leaves and kasuri methi, we need to cook the curry for more 2 minutes so that the flavors of coriander leaves and kasuri methi get blended very nicely in the curry. You can see guys that the consistency of the gravy is very nicely perfect and I like it. So guys, I am going to turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. After turning the heat off, I am going to wait for 10 minutes with a lid and after 10 minutes, here is the texture. You can see guys that the consistency of the gravy is thicker than before and it is very yummy to look at. It is very delicious and very tempting to look at. So guys let us start the curry. This super yummy super delicious dish is called mutter paneer in India. You can serve this curry with roti, chapati, paratha, naan, fried rice, jeera rice or plain rice. It is really super yummy to eat. So guys try this simple recipe at home and do not forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.